Valencia is famous for its paella, horchata and sandwiches. But what about the street food and international food of Valencia? Let's go and find out. I'm in front of a place called Andinos and this is a place making some great authentic Venezuelan empanadas and Andinos. So let's go and try them. This is some great value food for Valencia and it comes in combos as well. Wow! Our food is here, everything was freshly made and it smells absolutely amazing. We ordered some andinos, we ordered one huge empanada and we ordered sweet corn tortilla cachapa made with uh, handmade cheese. So let's dig in. This one is with cheese. Napolitano, like pizza stuffing, and this one is with minced meat if I understood well, or can do chunks of meat as well. This should be meat stuffed andino. We have three of them, they look all the same. So let's go with the first bite. Oh. Nice and juicy, full beef inside, and outside this pastry is really crunchy not fatty, not greasy at all. This is just explosion of flavors in a very small package. I also got to try Maltin. This is Venezuelan soft drink. Should be sweet and should be made with some grain malt. So let's give it a go. Mm. Wow, nice, fizzy, very refreshing. It really has a similar taste to the, if not exactly the same, to the kvass from the Slavic countries. Great stuff. Handmade cheese. Wow, like a huge, thick, beautiful pancake. This cachapa looks and smells great, but let's go. This tortilla is really sweet. Probably that comes from that sweet corn, of course. The cheese is quite tasty. It's really gooey, stretchy. I never tried anything like it. It's quite interesting and quite tasty. The texture of this corn tortilla is amazing. It's all about corn, but then it's really, really sweet. And then you also feel this cheese. Again, very interesting experience. Let's try the cheese on its own. Great texture, quite salty as well, very good taste. Quite a contrast to the tortilla, which is sweet and you can just feel that corn all the way through it. The big moment is here, now we're gonna try this empanada. Looks and smells absolutely great. Full of spices, full of taste, and this pastry outside, nice and golden color. Oh. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. I can't tell what is better, the pastry or the meat. The pastry outside, very, very crunchy, it has that skin on the top, just crunches under your teeth. And then this inside, the stuffing is so tasty. Probably one of the best comfort foods you can eat. Salud! Such a great experience and I'm really happy that we found this place and tried all this amazing food. We are here in Nuevo Centro, one of Valencia's shopping malls. We came here to check out the food scene and we decided to go for some Japanese ramen. Behind me is a place called Ramen Himavari and they do some authentic Japanese food here in Valencia. So let's go and check them out. Hola.
We are inside Ramen Himavari and this is definitely one of the cutest restaurants that I've been inside. It really looks like you're in Japan, not in Valencia and all the walls are covered with anime pictures from Naruto to One Piece. Anyway, we ordered a couple of ramens, we ordered gyoza, we ordered tonkatsu, we ordered some of the typical Japanese foods and soon enough we're gonna enjoy them. Our tea Himavari just arrived and also a shot of Japanese sake to kick off this Japanese food journey. So, salute. Mm. Very strange taste. This is the first time I'm trying sake, but there is definitely a punch to it. You can feel it just sliding down your throat. It's definitely nice and pleasant alcoholic drink. Our Torino Karage is here. It smells absolutely beautiful. Nice and crunchy on the outside, nice orange color. Let's give it a go. Torino Karage, let's go with the first bite. Mm. Oh. Steaming hot, perfect taste, very crunchy skin. Inside, the meat is so tasty, juicy, very easy to chew. Perfect overall taste. Mm. Next food on our table are gyozu, the Japanese dumplings stuffed with chicken and some vegetable. I already dipped it in soy sauce, so let's go. an absolute poetry of tastes. That chicken again melts in your mouth. The vegetables are crunchy, so they're not overdone. Beautiful taste and beautiful Japanese food. Salute. <laughs> Our takoyaki just arrived and these amazing looking balls of deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs> Our next dish is takoyaki. The smell is quite strong, quite pungent. It looks absolutely incredible. I mean, this is pure art. But let's go with the first bite. Mm. Oh, this kind of tricked me because it was very, very hot inside, very creamy inside, very juicy. I don't even have an idea what goes inside, but it's just absolutely great. Let's finish off this goodness. Some more sake, kanpai. Next thing is tonkasu, Japanese breaded pork steak. Let's go. Mm. Very nice and crunchy outside. The meat inside is tasty. Again, easy to chew. Very nice and delicious food as well. Miso ramen is here as well. I selected spiciness level one out of three. I wasn't brave enough to go further than one. And it looks delicious, smells absolutely incredible. Nice, hot, great colors, great ingredients. Cuts of meat. I suppose this is pork, boiled egg. But let's go. Very nice and silky noodles, very tasty. Again, easy to chew, goes down quite easily. Let's try this nice and hot miso broth. Oh. Mm. Amazing taste very rich and very nice taste. And actually, it's not even that spicy. I don't feel any spiciness, which is good. Oh, beautiful smoky taste. The noodles are still piping hot, but let's go with another bite with these mushrooms on them.
delicious little stop at this ramen shop. We really enjoyed all of these Japanese foods and drinks and this was really an incredible experience. But now we're gonna continue to our next place, so see you there. Behind me is Empanada Molitas, one of the best rated empanada place in Valencia. So we're gonna go and try some real Argentinian empanada. Let's go. I got a molita with carne argentina, the Argentinian meat and a cheeseburger. This one is stuffed with Argentinian meat. So let's go. Mm, nice juicy meat quite spicy, very strong beefy taste as well. And this pastry outside is nice and thin, a little bit crunchy on top. The stuffing is quite juicy. Let's go with the cheeseburger. Not as juicy as the Argentinian meat one, but nice taste. I mean, it's a proper burger inside with some cheese. The burger meat inside is a little bit tough, not as juicy as the Argentinian meat. There's plenty full of cheese. Definitely not as good as the first one. I'm definitely gonna finish this one, the carne argentino. Okay, so this combo, two empanadas and one drink was seven euros, so this is quite inexpensive, but it's not really the quality that I expected. The reviews were quite high and I don't understand why. Uh, the cheeseburger one, it was quite tough. The meat inside was really low quality, really tough, full of tough bits, dry. The Argentinian meat one was uh, quite better. It was juicy, it had a better taste couple of tough bits as well. This means that the meat used inside is not really the top quality. So we had much, much better experience with the Venezuelan uh, place with Andinos. They were like top quality. This is far, far behind. But anyway, this is tourist area. It is expected. What I didn't expect that uh, it can get such high reviews. I don't understand these people reviewing this place so high when they're pretty much average. But anyway, let's continue to our next place. It's raining heavily outside and we were unlucky enough to get stuck inside this beautiful and very busy cafe. They are full of different sweets, cakes, but also some savory stuff. So we're gonna order some things and try them until the rain stops. Everyone from my family went with the sweet stuff, the cakes, but I got this savory sandwich brioche stuffed with, I think, some ham, cheese, some avocado spread. So let's give it a go. It's quite nice. It has some scrambled eggs, some avocado spread, ham, a little bit of cheese. The brioche is a bit sweet, but then you have all these savory tastes inside. Quite delicious sandwich. This is the largest indoor market in Valencia, one of the oldest, and it holds around 1,000 different food vendors. So let's go and discover all the food that this place has to offer. Let's go. Oranges, melons, watermelons, some fruit that I don't even know the name. Chirimolas, apples, papaya, melocoton, the local type of peach, some imported stuff like bananas. 
Valencian tomato, the trademark of Valencia region, huge and beefy. I suppose it's delicious as well. There is an incredible stretch of jamon iberico vendors. All this incredible ham in one place. Some cheaper jamon per kilo, only 12.90. Fruit wedge and jamon. This is the dominant part of Mercat Central, but there are other foods as well. You feel the chill, and this is because we are surrounded by all the vendors selling seafood. Behind me is a nuts and dried fruits kingdom. This place has so many different types of nuts that this is practically incredible. Hola. Some amazing looking paprika and other spices at this spice stand behind me. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. All the best.